Today I'm just going to run through all the different tones you hear on the various Boston albums, including all the different ones on the debut album, which is the reason why that album was so successful, all that witchcraft blending of different guitar tones to make the huge Boston sound that everybody loved so much in the 70s. The first tone that everyone's most familiar with is kind of the general martial tone you hear on smoking and peace of mind. Not exactly a real high gain sound. <laughs> tone is the super cranked cocked wah leads sound that you hear in various different solos and that sounds like you can hear the subtle blending of the chorus in there This tone was also right at the beginning of Rock and Roll Band. Or there's the opening solos in Long Time. One of the tones that most people fail to pick out is a rhythm tone that is based more around a traditional British crunch sort of sound. And this one my ear really caught on to when I actually heard, uh, oh what was that? Oh You Shook Me All Night Long, ACDC, the tone that he uses in that. And then I realized that's within a couple EQ tweaks of the tone. You can hear it on something about you in the background. This tone is generally used in less notey passages where you have more static chord. Once your ear is accustomed to that tone, you can actually hear it layered in a couple different spots in different songs. That kind of thing. Let me switch rock mains here. The guitar tone of Don't Look Back wasn't quite as satisfying to listen to. It, there wasn't as much variation between songs, but it's important to note because it is a segue tone to third stage, which I'll get to in a minute. We have the Don't Look Back tone. <laughs> Favorite. 
the tone of Don't Look Back paved the way for the tone of Third Stage, which was unquestionably not as angry or fiery as the debut album. However, I think this is one of the most interesting tones as far as overall complexity. This was the first album where the Rockman was used, and the liner notes credit the X100 and the Sustainer as being used, as well as some of the earlier models. Just like the previous albums, there is some variance of tone between songs, but for the most part, it's about the same. and stuff like that. It's very interesting that the tones on Don't Look Back and Third Stage even existed because they're not really the same character as the debut album or his current Rockman sustainer setup on tour, which I'll demo for you now. There's some subtle differences between Walk On and Corporate America and Life, Love and Hope, but for the most part, everything was back to that old fiery Boston character that everyone's familiar with. If you've ever been to a concert, it sounds like this. <laughs> Definitely right along the lines of the original Marshall rig with extra fullness to the sound and of course the chorus and the stereo spread is a huge part of the whole sound. <laughs> So that's just a quick overview of all the different guitar tones because Boston's awesome. Credit to Mr. Schultz for making do with what he had and coming up with something that even by today's standards is still a quite a marvel of audio engineering. Uh -huh. 